Hello everybody. Uh, yeah, new look. I should wear glasses. <laughs> uh, and even in traffic it's better. I just sometimes forget in the morning on the way home when I'm sitting in the office. Yeah, it's not so easy to forget to take them off. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make this a shortish driving video I guess, but um, I have good news for kid fans. What's the most and what has been the most annoying feature for us collectors or if you're just a regular fan um, you wanna buy a jersey and your team say is striped or like Croatia has a checkered look on there. Anything? <laughs> yeah, I know. You let me know in the comments what bugs you. Um, one thing that always bugged me is that uh, UEFA for a long time had this rule that the number on the back had to be on a plain background with no patterns there. This led to many kits being manufactured that they just left, you know. I think the Barcelona, a Barcelona kit is the one with the, one with the yellow and the red stripes. It's the one that really uh, comes to mind to me. But also the current Croatia kits also come to mind. So you have uh, on the front, you have the striping pattern, on the back, it's all plain. Uh, they just decide on base color and you put the number on there. And then if you're lucky, you have a little bit of the striping on the bottom of the jersey. It looks awful. Uh, even if it's just blank, I think Milan had in 2017 a jersey that was striped on the back and all black, uh, striped on the front and all black on the back. I, never liked that look at all. Um, the Croatia jersey current currently, um, and especially the red and white checkers, is not so bad with the ugly colors. Uh, you have the checkered pattern on the front, which is yeah, a very white and bold pattern. But on the back you have the red shoulders and you have a white back otherwise. It com creates a completely different look from the front. And UEFA does away with that now. If you have striping on the front, you should have striping on the back and maybe a little shield. Uh, it's just some spots for the numbers, like I showed you with my favorite Lask Away jersey. Uh, if you go to the video, uh, it has been posted a week or two ago, where I have a red and black striped jersey and there was a circle with the number on there which I think was the perfect solution. And, uh, they are now suggesting something similar. I am so glad that they're doing that. Uh, I cannot tell you. This will instantly improve the look of Champions League games. I also thought it, it might be weird for referees uh, at times. When you look at a jersey that looks very different on the front and on the back. So really great, great, great improvement. Uh, if that was the case. Now I am curious if this only applies to the Europa League uh, and Champions League. Funny how I said Europa League first. Uh, I meant European club competition of course. Or if this also applies to uh, the Nations League. I would hope so. And then I'm very curious to see how the Croatia kit will look like uh, in the coming match day. I'm this to me becomes instantly the most important feature. The other thing that I, um, while we're, ta we're talking about important features, I'm preparing, of course, a jersey review of the Nations League teams. I'm not have not decided yet how I will split the videos up. Whether I will um, do one video per league, which is will actually be a longer video. I mean, I already know that if I just do the League A, that's I think I had 44 uh, pictures that I can look at. So uh, it might be a little bit long and then I think the only other split is to look at it group by group but those videos could be too short. So um, maybe I put two groups together. I don't know yet how I have to, how, how, how I will do it. And I probably will only do leagues A and league B for now and save the other two leagues um, for the October window. Uh, of course, I will also do a Champions League and a Europa League as 
good as I can. Uh, but what I was getting to, um, so that was one interesting feature. There are two other interesting features for the jerseys for the Nations League, um, which is the World Cup winners badge. First of all, it will be removed from the Germany jersey, uh, jersey of course. Um, so far, I don't have any pictures except for a baby or a children's uh, shirt that didn't have it in the first place. So it will be interesting to see that. I mean, we can in our heads imagine how it will look like, but it still is, it, it is a different look. And of course, where will France put it? Uh, when I looked up, I looked for the two stars and then, yeah, let's see the World Cup winner's badge. Uh, will they wear it? I mean, I know they sell it without it, which I find is a mistake. Uh, that's something in Germany and I think in Spain did that they were selling the jersey with, with the badge. Uh, but I, you see two versions and I really hope, I mean the one, is, the one I think is the official one, it's the one with Ulpape. Uh, so there is a picture of him, but of course you can photoshop it, where the World Cup winners badge is centered uh, just below the collar. And, that's an issue because there is this little button which causes a slight interference, but it's so small. I really hope it is centered. The ugly version would be if you put it uh, above the swoosh uh, on the right side. Because you have the number here, you have the swoosh here, you would have the badge here. That just looks clunky. Absolutely clunky. So um, I really hope to put it centered. That will make it a little bit more balanced overall. But yeah, more on that I will go in the video. Back to the uh, ruling. Um, these rules also mean that there are, uh, I can remember now, two teams from my uh, jersey review of the big leagues. That was Watford and Stade de Rhin uh, in France. They both had, uh, Watford has the yellow black stripes and it has a yellow back and just the yellow black stripes on the bottom and Stade de Rhin had uh, a completely white back and it looked horrible on TV. You have the First, uh, the first jersey it really looks very nice if you look at it on the front. Just the red with the white sleeves and on the back it's all white. Uh, that would not work under the new regulations. Both teams are not playing in Europe, but something interesting to note. So I'm really looking forward. I hope this will improve the look of many jerseys in the Champions League. I'm especially looking forward to have, for instance, uh, striped jerseys like Barcelona uh, have also been striped on the back, uh, which was also something they had to uh, change due to that ruling. Um, I think it was it was never such a problem for, say, Inter or Milan because uh, they have kind of dark striping and then uh, the white numbers were always well visible. And I think I've never seen Milan locking it out unless they release it for their own jersey as well so that was always a positive Barcelona I saw it a few times that they were just locking out the stripes yep for me this counts as good news I really kit regulations I understand you don't wanna let people go crazy especially if you have some thoughts about what you want to put on the jerseys and so on for instance the reg regulation that you have to leave some space for competition logos like the Champions League star ball the Europa League ball or you know any FIFA World Cup you know, qualifying that I understand and but I for instance I never understood why the Adidas jerseys need to leave a gap uh, it looked probably nice on the 2010 versions because it gave them a little bit of a uniform look but sometimes it just looks odd that there's something, the striping is missing there. So yeah, uh, I do understand that you want to have stuff like that but sometimes they are nonsensical, especially if you want to do something cool, uh, like I said, having the stripes. And stripes in club soccer are a big thing. So very glad to have that and very glad that UEFA come to the senses. Now we already saw FIFA a little bit getting away from the rule that all the shirts have to be unicolored, which was really uh, something that was bugging the shit out of me, honestly. So I hope this was a little bit dangerous, but it works. Uh, but yeah. Let's see 
how it will look. I'm sure there will be other things that will not work well. But I saw the document and it clearly states that stripes have to be stripes, checkers on the front, checkers on the back. Uh, if you have a two half jer uh, jersey, it has to be also two half. I think it might. N uh, well, it would be interesting if it uh, Galatasaray look uh, will be allowed under these conditions. Because the Galatasaray look, the classic one, is, you know. And I, I'm getting surely now the, the colors wrong, but uh, red sleeves, then one half yellow, another half red, and then um, yellow sleeves. But the sleeves on the back, this yellow on the front, is red on the back. This, um, what was red here, is yellow on the back and so on. So the shirt looks exactly the same from the front and on the back. It doesn't go uh, a mirror image. I'm not sure if that's covered under those rules, but hey, we're gonna find out, and that's the beauty of it. Well, let me know what you think about these updated kit rules. I personally love it. I think this is a move in the right direction. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of these. And I'm gonna jam my way home now, and yeah, we'll see how I can prepare next video. Um, Hope it will go live by, let's say, Friday. Okay, up until then, bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.